I've been restoring a Yamaha TY80 that I rode as a child back to its former glory. I'm a complete novice to the world of restorations and I had no idea what to expect when I started this journey, but after nearly a year of vapour blasting, powder coating and painting, it's time to reassemble my bike and let you see the end result of all my hard work. so excited today is the day that we will finally put the ty80 back together got the engine and all the other little bits that need assembling we'll go straight into a build lapse now and i'll check back in once i've got a few parts assembled I, I Few little problems along the way as with every bike build but we've managed to get there now as it's the first bike that i've properly rebuilt it's just like a complicated jigsaw puzzle um one thing daryl uh, said to me which has been really helpful was to lay all the bolts out and the nuts and screws and washers and then it becomes pretty obvious which bolts go where because there's only two for the top of the forks or there's three bolts for the engine little things like that have really helped next up i could probably put some wheels in it i guess and it'll look a little bit more like a motorbike Started at eight or nine this morning, I think, and we're now half seven tonight. I've just been home to get some food and I'm back for the last shift. I can't believe how much I've done today. I had no idea um, how well this was gonna go, but I've managed to do the majority of it. I've got the wheels in now, forks, engine, exhaust. There's been a few little problems along the way, but that's part of the fun, I think. The last bit after that is getting the tank from Paint Nation. I've just organized doing that. So I'll do the last little bits I can do tonight, which is fitting the chain and things like the air filter, and then I'll go from there. Before I show you the final reveal and what the TY80 sounds like, I just want to take you through the story so far and how much I've spent and how long it's taken me. I was very fortunate to already have this bike from when I was a child. In terms of costs, I roughly spent about £200 on yam bits, buying things like air filters, bearings, handlebar grips and cables. 
I was very fortunate that CJ Ward helped me with the powder coating, Northlands Vapor Blasting helped me with Vapor Blasting, Paint Nation helped me paint the tank, and IDP Moto were really good in helping me rebuild the engine. So I'll put links to all those people in the description below. Alongside all of this, if you've been following my journey on YouTube, you'll know that I also race motorbikes and I use this YouTube channel to try and fund my racing. So thank you so much to everyone that's been watching adverts up until this point. So basically next week, I'm finally gonna have a sponsored video. If I can get my video sponsored more often, that will make a huge difference to my racing and make it far easier for me going forward. Don't worry, there's something in it for you guys and I'll make sure with any sponsored video that I do that there's always something in it for everyone that's watching as I'm here to try and give back to everyone that's helped support me. So without further ado, one year on, it's time to finally show you the final reveal and what my Yamaha TY80 sounds like. that's it all done and dusted let me know what you think i should restore next and thank you for watching i'll catch you next week the floor is covered in silver spray paint yes yeah. obviously had some restoration project in there and just got the can and just like sprayed the bike <laughs> it's the outlines of chain guns there is yeah <laughs>